যখন যেখানে জাপ করা প্রয়োজন আপনারা তাই করবেন কঠোর পদক্ষেপ নেবেন আমরা এখন সিদ্ধান্ত নিতে যাচ্ছি শুট এট সাইট এখানে যা যা করার সব করবে এটা গুলি করা শুধু নয় ওর বংশ ধর পর্যন্ত দশটা করতে পারে ঠিক গাজীপুরের বাড়িতে অথবা বাংলাদেশের কোথাও যেন এই শ্রেণীর মানুষ খুঁজে না পাওয়া যায় তাই দায়িত্ব আমার আমি হুকুম দেব CTG Crime News Minister for Liberation Affairs ordered to shoot at sight banglamail24.com Attorney General of the country suggested to shoot at sight The Daily Star Badol suggest cops should be NP men Following these orders the incidence of extrajudicial killings has been on the rise BBC Bangla reports BNP student front JCD leader killed in crossfire prime news two youths killed in rap shootout at Jatrabari progress bangladesh lokhipur chhatrodol leader jishan killed rap alleges death in crossfire new age 128 people killed crossfire 88 disappeared in 2014 the guardian 30 dead as bangladesh political violence escalates human rights watch Bangladesh you are marred by attacks abductions killings during the period from 5th January to 5th February 2015 the casualty figures are extrajudicial killing 33 forced disappearances 57 wounded 43000 arrested and imprisoned 17000 false cases 300000 people absconding and displaced from their homes and villages 3.5 million Dhaka Tribune Operation Dharo netting top BNP Jamaat leaders Daily Amar Desh reports capacity of prison in Bangladesh 29000 but now more than 80000 imprisoned possibility of humanitarian disaster Daily Prathamalo reports raids by joint forces raised fear in Shibganj Daily Manob Zamin reports people are leaving homes and villages out of fear of police raids নতুন করে সে দুঃশাসন ফিরে আসছে হত্যা খুন গুম সন্ত্রাস চাঁদাবাজি টেন্ডারবাজি আমরা শান্তির দিকে থাকতে পারছি না জীবনের কোনো মূল্য নেই সবাই মৃত্যুর গ্যারান্টি নেই কখন যে কোথাও মারা যাবে তার কোনো ঠিক ঠিকানা নেই বিএনপি চেয়ারপারসন বেগম খালেদা জিয়া ওয়াজ প্রিভেন্টেড টু স্টেপ আউট ফ্রম হার গুলশন অফিস দেয়ার আফটার শি ওয়াজ কনফাইন্ড উইদ ইন দ্য প্রেমিসেস অফ হার গুলশন অফিস from 4th January 2015 and all the roads around her office were barricaded for weeks by placing trucks loaded with sands and bricks banned pepper spray used on Khalida Zia with ill motive following the minister's threat the electricity water supply telephone and internet lines to Khalida Zia's office were all cut off by the government agencies What we have to remember is that this is the 5th of January it is the anniversary of the so-called general election just 12 months ago and I think that the 5th of January will be remembered in Bangladesh as the day when democracy began to die because it's then when a general election didn't take place properly when people weren't given a real opportunity to pick the party that they wanted to govern the country and it's also important for the british government to speak to other allies both uh, within the european union uh, and also with the united states to get them to put pressure on Bang- on the bangladesh government uh, to stop the human rights violations that are taking place and to get us back on track in terms of democracy uh, within bangladesh we do not want to see one party system in bangladesh yeah. we would like all the political parties of bangladesh to participate in the democracy and formation of a government as soon as possible the secretary general calls on the political parties to resume meaningful dialogue and to urgently address the expectations of the people of bangladesh for an inclusive political process to make the peaceful movement of bnp led opposition parties questionable and to malign these peaceful actions the government has been using its own armed cadres to throw petrol bombs on public transportations killing innocent lives new age armed leaders son arrested with petrol bombs dhaka tribune armed league activist carrying guns arrested near prime minister's rally prathamalo reports 
Three ruling party student leaders were arrested while attempting to put fire on a passenger bus. Daily Shomokal reports, ruling party youth front leader arrested with bomb. Manav Jumin reports, four ruling party student leaders wounded while making bombs. Kalir Kontu reports, set fire on a passenger bus in front of police. Shishonews.com, a nephew of a ruling party leader arrested with petrol bomb. Technaf News, a ruling party student leader held while bomb exploded at Aumlig League office. Bangla News 24 reports, two ruling party student leaders arrested while exploding cocktails. RTNN reports, two ruling party student leaders arrested for bomb attack in rail station. Noadigonto reports, three student leaders arrested for bomb attack at High Court judge's home. Amar Desh reports, Four ruling party Aum League leaders arrested along with firearms from its rally. Jugantor. Four ruling party student leaders wounded in bomb blast carried by them. However, the perpetrators identified as Aumi Kada were subsequently released by the police due to the pressure from a senior regime leader. Manab Jomin. Three ruling party activists released after arrest with firearms. Bangladesh Protidin. A ruling party leader named Salahuddin was caught red-handed by police along with petrol bomb. But he was released upon obtaining a character certificate from the party's senior leader. Leaders termed arsonist Salahuddin as honest and intelligent. Taze Khobor Ruling party's miscreants are getting bail from courts by submitting fake documents produced by their party high-ups. As a part of propaganda, the government has arranged shooting sessions in the barn unit of hospitals where the victims are asked to use glycerin on their eyes for tearful expression. Aumilik believes in anarchism, as we see in the year 2006 when Sheikh Hasina was opposition leader. She ordered her party activists to come to Dhaka with indigenous weapons called Logiboita.